just in case you forgot how to do partial derivatives let's just do an example so you you have a little refresher of what's going on let's say you have a function that's not just a function of x but x y z t such that let's say 2xy plus 3x squared plus 4z plus yeah just t okay sure that's a simple function it can get more complicated less complicated doesn't matter so it's just a random example so that you kind of remember what's going on now let's do the first partial derivatives of this del f del x is equal to so term by term 2xy so it would be 2y okay x to the zero now so just one so 2y plus 3 times 2x right so 6x plus well, this would just be treated as a constant because there's no x inside. So even though you have a variable, in the case of a partial derivative, this doesn't matter. It's just seen as a constant. So this becomes zero, t also, right? Zero. So that's the first partial derivative of f with respect to x. Now, same case with y. Here, it would be 2x plus zero plus zero plus zero. So just 2x. Now partial derivative of f with respect to z this time it's going to be treat this as a constant 0 0 4 0 so all of this is just 4 and uh with respect to time is pretty trivial right it's going to treat this as 0 0 0 and then just t so that would just be 1 so del f del t is equal to 1 now the second partial derivative would be just take the again so d del del squared f del x squared is equal to well is there any x here no so zero is there any x here yes okay so six would be the constant so here boom that's a second partial derivative now same case for uh, y let's do this well there's no y here so it's just going to be uh, another notation we could do is just f okay y y zero okay here f z z it's a constant zero here too f t t zero okay so here how would you write it it will be f x x zero and then uh third derivative oh no no this is not zero here this is six okay third derivative here so f x x x is equal to zero okay and of course here like it's still just going to be zero and zero and zero all right so that's what a partial derivative is uh hopefully it clarifies some things and uh if you want to visualize what it means okay let's let's do this let's let's try to visualize what is a partial derivative since we have uh four variables okay we're actually in the 5d space so it's hard for me to graph this but let's say in the subcase where uh uh our z and t were zero okay and uh we only analyzed with respect to x and y so in the subcase that this okay z and t is zero so your f of x and y is equal to 2xy plus 3x squared then our graph is going to look like this now when we're in the 3d space and this is what the graph looks like what does the partial derivative tell you the first partial derivative of f with respect to x is again 2y plus 6x right and then f x x is equal to 6 and f x x x is equal to 0 so for now let's just take care of this case right and it would kind of be the same principle with, with y, but for simplicity here, let's just do it with x. So this function, if you if you uh, illustrate it, this is what it looks like. Now, don't be too scared because if you're a little confused what's going on, just look at, look at what you see here, okay? So the x-axis is here. What it's telling you is just like a more generalized kind of way to see calculus. You remember uh, how like... Uh, 
we in in just like uh, 2D, it was like this, and then you had uh, some function, and then the derivative was the slope. Again, see this plane again as <laughs> as like the slope of this. So what does this tell you? Well, what is the slope of this curve? This uh this not curve, but yeah, no, this curve, this 3D curve, as you travel along x, <laughs> and uh, basically you have uh, these this is this is the plane kind of and it makes sense right because well here it's in a negative so as you were going along here well you had a kind of negative thing going on so the slope is negative it goes down and then it goes up again so here is basically saying it's going down until it's going up so yeah <laughs> that is the tangent kind of plane to this curve as we travel along x now let's do the second uh partial derivative of uh x so now it's just going to equal six and it makes sense basically it's probably just going to tell you what that it's uh this it's going to equal six the slope of this plane is going to equal six okay as you travel again along x isn't that interesting i find it pretty interesting this is a 3D kind of representation of what's going on with partial derivatives. And uh, this is also really, 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 really uh, relevant in numerical methods. But um, while I'm making this video as of this very moment is because I'm teaching you guys a playlist on uh, ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations. This is relevant to PDEs, although we never really have to actually draw out the graphs. It's just that you need to use a lot of partial derivatives for PDEs. And uh, for example, this is a PDE. You see, this is all partial derivatives. You need to just have a refresher. What's a partial derivative? You can experiment yourself with partial derivatives by just doing the partial derivatives of a function illustrating it on wolfram alpha or desmos uh wolfram alpha usually illustrates the graph pretty well you can also tell chat gpt to give you the graph actually um it does a python code and it's going to show you the graph this is actually from uh ai to generate this i didn't code this myself i didn't bother it was pretty easy stuff even ai can make this and what i'm trying to tell you is it's pretty easy to to get these curves to help you visualize what's going on all right anyways take care subscribe to the channel tune in for the next videos of me teaching you stuff and uh if you want to support me it's on patreon if you want to watch my original content for a day in the life of an engineering student series um uh, it's on tiktok and instagram a lot of memes on instagram uh there's a discord community with a lot of opportunities and resources for stem students engineering students more specifically also uh a lot of opportunities cool memes notes resources and a lot of good notes and resources on my Patreon too. It's all going to be in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Or if you're watching this on Instagram or TikTok. It's going to be in my bio. All the links are there. Alright. Take care. See you next time.